everybody, welcome to a special all-star cavalcade of stars cast of Prosperity TV. That's the prosperity lesson for this week's show is we're going, I, I'm taking advantage of the natural resources available and abundant from the universe. I'm actually up here in the uh, penthouse of Terry Brock and Gina Carr up here in Orlando, Florida. We have a kind of a dinner group mastermind. We get together a group of some really brilliant thinkers and we get together every month or so. Uh, some of the people get a little uh, tipsy with the wine. Now we have some good food. We have some good conversation, usually talking uh, the three things you should never talk about at dinner party, sex, politics, and religion, and we talk till about three in the morning. So I'm here with all those guys this week, and I said, why don't I get these people in the show? They're all brilliant. So this is Gina Carr. She's a social media savant. Okay, she helps people with their Facebook fan pages and their Twitter accounts and YouTube channels and things on how to harness social media. So what I thought is each of my dinner guests this week, I'd ask them to just take a minute and give you a tip. What a, what's a success tip, business tip, prosperity tip they'd share with you? So you're up first, babe. What, do you, what, what would you tell the guys? Well, what I would say is time is money. And people say to me, Gina, how do I do all this social media stuff? It's just such a big time suck. And it just seems like a big waste of time. So th I think the most important thing that people need to know, especially when they're learning social media, is take one and really dive in deep. It, it, you can't learn French, German, Spanish, and Japanese all at once. You can't learn Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Facebook all at once. So I'd say take one, really dive in deep, and maybe set up the other accounts, but just say, hey, I'm hanging out on Facebook these days. Come join me there on your LinkedIn and your Twitter, and then go deep into Facebook. Really learn it. I think that's a similar philosophy as what you suggest as well, right? Yeah, like I started with Twitter, then I went to Facebook, then I went to YouTube. And I, you know what I would tell them? I spent two hours a day for a year and a half on social media. And people say, that's crazy. I don't have two hours a day. But I cannot think of any other activity I could do for two hours a day that would get me more business than what I got out of social media. Well, it's so efficient to connect with people all over the world uh, and, and specifically your target market. So don't get on social media just to play Farmville and to waste time. Be very strategic about it. Have your objective. Just as if you were going to a networking meeting in person in real life, you're networking online. So speak, pick out the people you want to connect with that are your perfect target customers and connect, develop a relationship, and eventually, if you have something of value, they may want to do business with you. All right, and how do they connect with Gina Carr? GinaCarr.com, G-I-N-A-C-A-R-R.com. Come join me. All right, so guess look who else is in this little dinner party here. The go-giver, uh, the endless referral guy. Here's a speaker, author, new, a best-selling author. The latest one, uh, It's Not About You. Of course, the big book I think everybody knows him for is The Go-Giver with John David Mann, Mr. Bob Berg. Hey, Bob. So what would you share with the Prosperity TV guys? Well, first, I, I wanted everybody to know that we asked our publisher if the title, It's Not About You, if we could put a little asterisk next to that, and at the, at the bottom of the, the, the cover, the asterisk would say, unless you're Randy Gage, then it absolutely <laughs> is about you. Make no bones about it. <laughs> really, the go-giver is, is about a shift in focus, taking it from being an eye focus to an other focus. There's nothing... Um, uh, particularly altruistic about it. It's a great way of doing business as well as living life. You know, you talk so, so well about um, prosperity. Now let's talk about financial prosperity right here and understand that money is simply an echo of value. It's the thunder to values lightning. When you focus on providing value to others, they're going to feel good about you. They're going to know you. They're going to like you. They're going to trust you. They're going to respect you and your judgment. And if your product or service fits their needs, they're going to exchange their money for the value you provide. On the other hand, if they can tell your focus is on the money, they're going to be less likely to have those great feelings. So let the you know, lead with value and then just be willing to receive the abundance. Great. Okay, Berg.com, right? B-U-R-G.com. Yeah, and he's, and he's all over Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. You'll find him everywhere. Thanks, Bob. Thank you. <laughs> Here's somebody you don't know, I bet, but you wish you will after you meet this guy. This is the Wonder Boy. This is 
Patrick Steinis. Patrick is a French, Francais man who's here now in Florida, and he runs a company kind of like a think tank, incubator, startup, JV kind of thing. So you, you help new businesses get launched. So we have a lot of people watch this show. They got a great business idea. What would you tell someone who's got a great idea? Where do they start? Where do they go? Sure. I, I think the first thing you got to really think about and tackle is that it's not scary and it's really not hard. I like to relate it to if you go back to our founding fathers, the people that jumped in a boat in England and came across, the only job opportunity you had was entrepreneurship. So it wasn't scary. The whole concept that it's scary and it's hard is new and it's not true. So you got to realize that there's so many people out there in the past, today, who are starting their own companies, being successful, and it's possible. You gotta just realize you can do it. I think the second thing you gotta do is make a plan. And that doesn't mean go download the template and here's the four block with your strategy in it. No, what do you have to do to succeed with your business? Go out, talk to your friends, have them ask all the hard questions, reach out for you know leaders that you're connected with that can help you figure out exactly what the best plan is. And uh, listen to some of them, and if it doesn't make sense, don't, don't be afraid to ignore them, because you're probably right. If it's your idea and you're going to be successful, you're going to get there by following the path that you put together. And then the last thing is really simple, but it's really hard. You set a date, and you commit to it publicly. Once you have your plan in place, set a date and go to your loved ones and say, I'm going to start this company on whatever the date is, and that is the date you'll start your company. I love doing something where you, you get partners because you allow them to call you out. You put it out there, a public declaration, and it motivates. That's how I get all my books done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's great the, how you can empower others to empower you by promising things like, I will start my business on this day, or by committing to them that I'm going to run this business with integrity, and you have the permission to call me out when I don't. It, partnerships can be very powerful. Obviously, they can be very challenging if you don't pick the right ones. So you have to be very, very careful. But ultimately, partnerships are what kind of get you through the uh, the adventure of entrepreneurship. That's Treek. He's special. Well, how do they get a hold of you? <laughs> uh, you can check us out at seventhelement.com. All right, cool. Thanks, Patrick. <laughs> All right, look who's next at the dinner party. You probably recognize him from Ted or one of his books. This is Dr. Joaquin de Posada, wrote the book Don't Eat the Marshmallow Yet, which became how many? Uh, we're, tell them about the sales of that book, just wow. to start. Uh, That's I, like, I think over 3 million copies. So, 3 million copies of that. Then there was the sequel. Then the publisher in Korea, where it was like the best selling book ever in Korea. They missed out on the rights for that. They asked him to write another one. He, you wrote it. The, uh, the. Victor the Fool. Victor the Fool. We were just looking at Google about it just before this thing. 500,000 copies advanced sale. Yep. In three months. In three months. Yeah. <laughs> so this guy has got it going on. So Joaquin, and he's a psychologist, knows about the science of how the mind works. What, what jumps to mind with you in terms to share with people? Okay. If we're going to share one concept, it would be everyone. Absolutely everyone is one idea, one idea away from a big, big success, a big process, a big product, a big uh, service, something that would take your life and your career to another level. Here I am sitting in a plane f flying from San Juan to New York, and I'm reading a book, Emotional Intelligence, by Goldman. Yeah. And there's one page, one page that describes the marshmallow experiment out of 250 pages, one page. And I said, oh my God, this is the most important concept for success. The ability to delay gratification, self-discipline. So I said, I have to write a whole book about this concept alone, plus a couple of other things that I do in my session. So I said, let's do this book. And then, of course, that has now history. It's one of the best-selling books uh, in the world, and uh, that got me into TED, and it has opened uh, my career, and I get invited all over the world to speak about the concept of Don't Eat the Marshmallow Yet. Just one idea away, you are from a big, big success. Just one idea between you and where you want to be. One applied idea. Yeah. Because we have a lot of ideas. But do you apply it? One applied. Remember, knowledge is power? No. Applied knowledge is power. Otherwise, it doesn't count. All right, books are all over Amazon, Bookseller. Where else can they get in touch with you? Uh, JoaquinDiposada.com.
right. Cool. Thanks, Bucky. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and now I'm here with Reba McIntyre, the very famous country west. Oh, no, that's not Reba. That's Lisa. This is, Li- this is Lisa Jimenez, best-selling international superstar author of Conquer Fear, Don't Mess with the Princess, every kind of audio, video, everything, dynamic speaker, best sold made of mine for 15, 20 years now. So, Miss Lisa, what mm-hmm. would you uh, tell the, as Wolf would say, the viewers at home and yeah. all around the world? I love those viewers at home. I'm, and what it is is <laughs> this, that they tap into a well-known author, presenter, a well-known trainer, a teacher. We don't like to call ourselves gurus, but really people who have walked the path you choose to walk. You're doing it, you guys. You're listening to Randy's Prosperity TV. You're dedicated to that. You read the books. You apply the wisdom that Randy teaches you. So what you're doing today, this is it. This is the step to success. Continue your education. Continue being around inspiring people. Continue to tap into Prosperity TV. And hey, the people you hang out with is who you become. And hopefully your network, your mastermind, your friends, they inspire you to become better. All right. You don't need to buy any of her stuff. She makes lots of money. Just go to my website instead, buy my stuff. Um, but if you got all of my stuff, then you go. <laughs> so conquer-fear.com. That's it. Lisa Jimenez on Facebook. Follow her on Twitter because usually about the 25th of each month, she sends her, her tweet out for the pain. month. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Love you. Mm. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> all right. Last but certainly not least, another brilliant guy that I've known for a long, long time. Here's a man who will show you how to harness the power of technology to build relationships, relationship marketing, communication. You are the uh, you were the enterprise blogger at Skype. You're now the I guess the senior editor editor in chief editor in chief at AT and T for their blog. This is Mr. Terry Brock. This is his joint we're hanging out in with all these lovely books. And this, of course, for all you guys in Japan, this is the magic kitten that brings the money and the prosperity. So we had to have in there. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> Japanese is good. <laughs> so, uh, thoughts for the, the viewers at home? You know, Randy, what it's all about in business is relationships. It's building those relationships, and we use technology in order to reach people more. That's what social media is all about. Because what it is, we're trying to connect with others. And now we have a way to do it. You spent two and a half hours a day on there, and people think, oh, gee, that's a waste of time. No, 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 no. It's building relationships because it's not about spending time on the computer. It's about connecting with people, and this is where people are today. So we use that, and we use the technology to do it better. Like right now, we're using technology, using technology today that is far better than multi-million dollar studios were just a few short years ago. Well, this this HD camera, which sells for, what, 200 bucks? Uh, some of them can sell for a little bit around that range. Um, 200 300 does what cameras that used to cost $75,000 do. Yeah, and even more because it is HD. And so because of that, we can do it. And the whole point is you can use that. We're taking communication, people talking, connecting with each other, and then you can send that out now also because not just the computers and the technology are cheaper, but also now we've got this thing called bandwidth. And we've got YouTube so that you can take your message for free and send it out there. Is free in the budget for you, Randy? <laughs> so you can send that out very easily, and it works out. And I think it's a great time to be alive today to get your message captured and then to send it out and stay in touch using social media and others to really build relationships. All right. So where do the nice folks get a hold of Terry Brock? Well, they can go to terrybrock.com. That's at T-E-R-R-Y, and then Brock is spelled the right way, B-R-O-C-K, terrybrock.com. All right. Thank you, Terry. Thank, thank you, you to all the all-star today, the all-star cast. And thanks to you guys. You know, remember we talked about Jim Rohn was his famous yeah. thing. You know, your income will be the average income of the five people you spend the most time with. And, of course, I've always said this is true for every area of prosperity, your health, your marriage, your relationships, the people you hang with. Today, I wanted to share with you a little taste of some of the people I hang with and what helps rock my world and keep my creative juices flowing and, and, and my prosperity focused. So I, I'm so grateful to them for allowing me to share my friends with you this week. So until next time, peace, love you guys, and live rich.
Okay, let's test that mic. Just ask a quick question. Jeannie, you are a social media socialite and actually a social heavy in social media. Not to say you're heavy. In fact, <laughs> earlier I didn't mean to say you were light. I, 